So let's see how to use this transitions zone pack in the Vinci Resolve. So once you download this pack, you should get this zip file. Now just unzip the zip file and you will get this folder over here. Now if you open up this folder, you will find these subfolders over here. So the first folder will be the install pack. If you open up this folder, you will find this .drfx file over here. Now you can just double click on it to install the template. Now make sure your Vinci Resolve version is 17.4.1 or above, below version will not work. Now once you're in the Vinci Resolve and you're in the edit page, just click on this FX. Now as you can see, in the video transitions, the transition zone pack is not installed yet. Now just come back over here and double click on it. Then an install pop-up will be opened over here. Then just click on this install button over here. And after that, you can open up the Vinci Resolve and from here you'll find this transition zone. Now you can just uh, open up this and find all of these subcategories. You can select this transition zone over here and you can collapse down the packs over here like so or you can sort them from here. Now let's see how to apply them. I have laid two different images uh, in the timeline. You can use videos as well. So now let's uh, use, uh, let's suppose, I'm just going to use some mask over here and you can preview the animation by hovering over it. See? Now I can just drag and drop the transition in junction of these two video clip and as, as you can see the transition will be applied. Now one more thing, these transitions are made in Fusion so they will use some effects from the Fusion. So if you have a bit higher configuration system for editing then it will be fine for you but if you have a lower configuration system then uh, the preview will be a bit laggy for you. So I will recommend you to go back over here in the playback and in the timeline proxy mode make it to quarter resolution. So while you are editing, the preview will be a bit lower, but uh, your workflow will, will be fast. And one more thing, just go over here to playback and the render catch, make it to smart. Make sure it's checked. And once you do that, uh, there will be a red line on top of your transition. The red line will turn to blue. For me, it's not showing over here. Uh, must be some kind of glitch over here, but there will be a red line if you turn on the render catch. And just wait for a moment to make it blue then your transition will play nicely now let's delete this transition and let's move on to some other category there's plenty of good categories over here which you can use let's select on this pan now from here you can choose this pan down pan left as you can see so let's go for the pan left apply over here and if you want to increase or decrease the duration just pull this handle to the right or the left side and the duration will be affected by that or if you want you can select this transition and, and come over here to this inspector tab and from here you can manually type your duration in seconds or in frames now all of these transitions will have their own settings now as you can see this transition has media one invert media media two invert that means if you just uncheck one of these invert the animations will be different the first image is going to the right and the next one coming to the left if you just click on the next one as well the animations will be completely reversed like so so that's pretty handy over here so if you want let's suppose uh, you've added this one over here and then you want a reverse transitions on the next one so all you can do is just press option or alt button on your keyboard press and hold and just drag and drop over here so that they can be copied and now in the new one just select it and just click on this invert button so this one will be from right to left and this one will be from left to right so you don't need to go over here again and again to change some tweaking over here. Now, uh, here you will find a couple of things. There will be some motion blur. By default, most of them will be turned off because motion blur will take uh, much more resource than the normal uh, radial blur or directional blur. So by default, there will be a directional blur. But for some reason, if you don't like this additional directional blur or radial blur, depending on the transition, you can turn off from here just press zero and press enter on your keyboard as you can see the blur will be turned off now you can click on this motion blur and now make sure to set the quality and shutter angle don't uh, crank up the quality too much because it will give more stress to your system so for me five is good if i just play back over here see it looks nice but you can crank up to eight or ten if your system is okay with that and then you will find some easy in and out here by default there is expo but if you can change it let's suppose i want this one to none and this one to bounce so once i do that let's turn off this motion blur for now i'm just going to turn on this traditional blur 
as you can see there is a bounce animation going on let's go to uh, some another transitions you can go over here there is a pan second media corner uh, there is a pan second media if I just uh, drag and drop over here and play it back you see now I can just go over here and invert the transform and it will come from the right side you can control the blur opacity shadow strength etc etc then I will get a lot of variety of this pan second media as you can see it can come from the corner all corners down left right etc then you will find this pan blur okay I'm not gonna apply all of them you get the idea is it pan bounce it will pan and bounce at the end then you will find this pan film roll okay you get the idea this is a pan hit let's apply this one see it looks nice and again you can come over here invert the transform uh, by default there is a motion blur and you can change the animations over here okay, let's go to the next one there's a pan lens this one is pretty cool as you can see and pan lens left right up etc then you will find this panoramic corner okay this one is also pretty cool Then you will find some perspective one over here. Let's apply this perspective. And I'm just gonna increase this over here. Some transitions will look good if you increase the duration. So just play back them if it looks too fast. So just then just increase the duration, it will look good. Like so. Now for all of these pan transitions, you can select over here and you can control this media amount. So the media amount will fix how many images will pan throughout the transitions. So for now, as you can see, there is three images rolling up over here. But if you need a really high number, you can crank it up to like say eight. And let's increase the duration a bit as well. If I just play back, as you can see, there's a lot of image moving on. So there's total eight image moving on through this transition over here. So you can control this from from here media amount so not all of these transitions will have this media amount but most of them will have this uh, amount section so you can control the amount from here so now let's move on to the next so these are all perspective vertical horizontal etc then we'll find this pan tile is also very cool then we'll find this pan vintage uh, there are some uh, grungy vintage looking style over here from left to right etc Okay, then uh, let's move on to another one. Let's go to the card clip at the top. And here, let's scrub through. See, it looks nice. It's the diagonal, card horizontal, etc. Then you'll find uh, this card bounce effect and the card throw. Let's add the card throw over here. See, it's pretty fast and you can go to this cube 3d there's some uh, 3d effect with uh, cube animations as you can see right left bounce etc over here then we'll find this distort effect if i hover over them you can see there's a distort effect over here if i just drag and drop and apply i can control the scaling amount on the distortion you can control the invert and you can control the scale strength so that it can look more warp kind of animation okay and then you will find uh, this warp kind of effect this is twist rotation there's also distort effect so, so you can uh, combine them and create your uh, presentation very unique with this then you will find this door opening so these are very simple door opening which will look good with your presentation and in, there's some extra ones so you can just hover with them and check them over here like so fade this is very self-explanatory so there will be plenty of fade blur color luma 
mosaic, flicker, wipe, etc. etc. And then there is a glitch. Uh, the glitch one is very interesting over here. There's plenty of glitch available. So this is the bad TV. Okay. Then we find this standard glitch effect over here. Okay, some crazy ones to some uh, subtle ones you can apply. Let's apply this glitch 13 over here and just give it a moment to load. It looks very nice. Now I can just control this um, glitch transition over here and come over here. From here you can control the noise, detail, con contrast, and brightness, etc. So by that we can change the look of this glitch. So let's control the details over here as you can see. It is affecting over here. So I'm just gonna make this approximate to full so that you can check it clearly as you can see. And you can control the contrast, brightness. See, it will affecting on this entire glitch. Now you can control this noise X and Y. So let's increase the Y and decrease the X. And you can change the noise angle, pixel frequency. See, the background pixel is changing over here and pixel strength and then you will find this uh, color channel so by default the red is off so if you just turn on that the chromatic aberration on the image will be turned off but you can turn on or off these color channels to get some unique look now, all of these glitch transitions will have their own effects which you can modify to create your own transition now this is another cool feature if you just come over here and let's suppose uh, you have changed a lot of things over here to make it unique and you like to keep it so that you can use it later so all you can do let's suppose you have changed some of these things over here and like so as you can see it has been changed i'm just gonna change this one as well now you want to keep it over here so now just right click over here and create transition preset once you do that let's, i'm just gonna call it test glitch and hit ok so once you do that you can come over here uh, to the video transition and if you just scroll down there will be a section called user see and it will be saved over here now you can just click on this favorite icon and it will be favorite for you and now you can use it whenever you want okay so that's it for this transition i'm not gonna go through all of this uh, transition over here you can check them in the preview and there is uh, plenty of other things like stretch typography let's take a look at this typography over here for a moment and drag and drop over here so as you can see that's pretty simple a typography emissions with transition you can increase this out the text can be a bit longer now you can change the text over here okay you can add lines change font etc etc you can change the background color and that's it so in the same way you can uh, drag and drop and apply all of these transitions and create your own presentation now let's suppose you want to uninstall this transition zone pack from the Vinci Resolve. So let me show you how to do that as well. So for that, just go to your Fusion tab and just click on this effects over here. Okay, now from here, select this template over here. Make sure to select it and come over here to this three dot icon and click on that and click on this show folder. So once you do that, the root folder will be open for you. And as you can see, the dot .drfx file is installed over here. Okay, so this is your uh, zip file. And this is the actual root folder over here. So now just select it and delete it from here. And once you do that, I'm just gonna close it. If I just go back to the edit tab, you will see there is no longer the transition available over here. So as easy as that. I hope this video helped. If you need any other support, feel free to contact me. I will be happy to answer.